Good morning everybody, it's Ernie again here with an unboxing video. I got these, this parcel here, as you can see, I got this from Amazon Germany. That's Amazon Germany. I ordered this set a couple of weeks ago and it turned up the other day. I took a couple of photographs and put them on Facebook and now I'm going to do the unboxing video. So here goes and let's hope you like what's inside. As you can see I've opened it beforehand. Uh, there's a few there. And another grab and one. And there's another few there. So we're looking forward to showing you what I got. So let's get the ball rolling as they say. The deal was Amazon Germany were doing 10, that's 10, Blu-ray films for 50 euros. Which with postage and packaging in the UK it came to £43. That's including postage. Very chuffed indeed. All Blu-rays, I think 95% of them are all from Warner Brothers. So it was a deal Warner Brothers were doing with Amazon Germany. So I'm going to go through the films with you and show you what I've got. Uh, they're all shrink wrapped and give you a quick description on what they're about and see if you like it. Daniel Orton, thanks for the website mate. Good old Amazon Germany, a lot better than Amazon UK. Nice to, eat, nice to deal with and I'm happy. So Blu-ray number one is Outbreak starring Dustin Hoffman, Renny Russo, Morgan Freeman. It's basically a virus movie. It's about a, a virus that gets a person gets infected from a virus, spreads across the world. The army have to come in. They have to shut the shut certain places down, and they've got to try and find a vaccine. Similar to the recent outbreak, I enjoyed this movie. It's from the early nineties. Very very good film. That's number one. Number two, Scott Bradley in the US will like this one. This is a German Blu-ray release of Stanley Kubrick's 2001 a Space Odyssey. Now, I will admit on camera to everybody, I have never ever seen this film all the way through. I've seen bits of it, clips, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, and I've never actually sat down and watched it. Now. It's the 35th, I think 35th anniversary this year. It's been re-released by the B, by the BFI, which is British Film Industry, or the National Film Theatre, on the cinema's limited release. Now, looking forward to checking it out. Howl's on the cover, and that's number two. Number three is, from the mid-80s, a classic musical, in the vein of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This is Ivan Repman's Little Shop of Horrors. Love this film, love it to bits. It's funny, the music's fantastic, it's sing-along. And the thing I like about this one is it's got the alternate ending that was took off for when it went on screening purposes because apparently people didn't like the ending. And it's a 20 minute ending and it's apparently a bit more violent than the musical version you've seen. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well. That's the Little Shop of Horrors. These are all German, by the way, but they're all in English as well. And this little gem came out the same year as E.T. and The Thing by John Carpenter. E.T. was done by Steven Spielberg. And this is Steven Spielberg produced this. Toby Hooper, who did the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, directed it. And this is Poltergeist. I remember going to see this on the cinema when it was an 18... And the first time I've seen it, I cracked my pants. It was brilliant. I've seen it loads and loads of times since. Everyone knows about it. House is haunted. Girl gets took into the telly. They get a spirit medium in to try and get her out. But it's a great, 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 great film. That's number four. Number five is Jodie Foster, Matthew McConaughey in Contact. Again, I've never seen this. I've seen bits of it, I've never seen it all the way through. My other half, Richard, said it's a great film. It's a good science fiction classic. So, looking forward to checking out Contact as well. That's number five. Number six, another one for Scott Bradley, is 
the European release, not the American version. The American version runs at 144 minutes. This runs at 119 minutes. It's the European release, which is UK, Germany, of Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Great cover, great sleeve, love it. And I've seen this a few times, another brilliant film. When it got first released, it was slated by the critics and everything. Nobody liked it. It's since become a bona fide horror classic. Looking forward to watching that on Blue. That's number six, I think, or seven. No, six. Number seven is Steven Spielberg's produced this film and then he started and he carried on and finished directing it. It was originally going to be done by Stanley Kubrick and that is AI Artificial Intelligence, which is basically a futuristic version of Pinocchio. Uh, Haley Joe Osmond and Jude Law are in this. Haley Joe Osmond plays a boy, well, a robot who thinks he's a boy and he wants to become a real boy. And Jude Law plays an android prostitute, male prostitute called Gigolo Joe. And Jude Law is fantastic in this film. It's a great, great film. I loved it. A little bit long, but you get into it and it's a nice film. There you go. That's number seven. Number eight. I've seen this film in 1982 on a double bill with the text, uh, not the text, I've seen that on a double bill with Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon. And I only paid a pound. It was an afternoon matinee thing in one of the studios in Manchester. And it's a classic, it's one of my favourites of Clint Eastwood's, and it is The Gauntlet with Sandra Locke. Clint Eastwood basically plays a washed out alcoholic police officer who has to extradite, go to Vegas, pick up a girl, and extradite her over to another city in Phoenix for a trial. It's crap, it's not going to happen. But things happen along the way, the mob are after him and everybody, and it is a great film. If they ever remake this, I would love to see Jason Statham play the character, because I think he'd be brilliant in it. That's Clint Eastwood's The Gauntlet. Number nine, a classic from the mid 70s, I think about 1975, stars Michael York and Jenny Agatha. And I think Farrah Fawcett's got a small role in it as well. It's a futuristic tale. If you think of The Island with Ewan McGregor, which was done by Michael Bay, that's a similar version of this. It's not the same, but it's a similar storyline. And that is the classic Logan's Run. Basically about a group of people who live in the future where they have governed that anybody who reaches the age of 30 has to give up their own life in order for other people to come through. And Logan doesn't want to give up his own life. He wants to carry on. So what he does, him and Jenny are to go on the run and they become runners who get chased by the government. And they want to manage to escape from where they are. It's a very, very good classic science fiction movie. Love it to bits. That's number nine. And the last one, but last least, is number ten. And this is a classic, again, from the early 70s. This is... Um, probably what apart from easy rider it's probably what put jack nicholson's name on the map it made him a huge huge star it's not an action film or anything like that it's just a great film and it is one flew over the cuckoo's nest jack nicholson plays rj mcmurphy who doesn't like being in prison he's in prison because he had underage sex with a girl but he didn't know she was underage at the time so he ends up in prison, he starts acting stupid and daft before you even see that. He then gets took away and gets put into this, what we call, mental asylum in the 70s in America. And he becomes, he goes in and he basically disrupts the place because he thinks he can, if he, if he acts daft he'll never have to go back to prison. But it's a really, really good film. Big cast in it, Lloyd Kaufman, uh, not Lloyd Kaufman, Christopher Lloyd's in it, so is Mr Danny DeVito. And the nurse, Ratchet, the character who plays Nurse Ratchet, she is an amazing actress, but the film itself is great. That was number 10. So there you go. That's 10 Blu-rays, all from Germany, for less than 45 quid. So, big earner. It's Christmas present. It's very nice indeed. So, thank you once again. I hope you all like the video, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.